Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is Rajesh Yadav and in today's video I am going to cover some tricky SAS practical questions. Let's move on to the next slide. This is about me and my experience. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys if you want to learn SAS you can contact me or you can WhatsApp me. Let's move on to the next slide. So guys if you are preparing for SAS interview you can contact me or if you want only SAS interview questions and answers PDF you can contact me or if you need any SAS software related help you can WhatsApp me or you can email me. Let's move on to the next slide. Here is the first question. How many observations in output data set employee combined? Source data set is employee. It contains three variables employee ID, designation and salary and three observations. So here the code that you need to look into and then answer. So in this code what I am doing defining macro SAS data and then this will return only text employee. I am not giving any statement here and no semicolons. Then SAS data macro definition finishes with percent mand. Then there is a data step. So I am creating data employee combine and then set statement and calling this macro s underscore data that means source data three times not using any semicolon with this what will happen if I will run this code so guys in data step and in macro macro part runs always first and then data step runs so when you run this data step this part percent data percent s underscore data percent s underscore data this macro will call first then data step will execute so when we run this data step what will happen let's see the macro part execution. So when you run this your set statement would become like this. So it will return this employee. So guys here semicolon is not required. So it will only return what is mentioned inside this. So this employee text will be written by this macro when we call it and here while calling semicolon is not required. So when you call a macro it's not required to give a semicolon. So I haven't given semicolon here only at the end. So your data step would become like this set employee three times. Now your set statement knowledge I'm testing here. So what will happen? So when you do this all the observation of first data set will be written to the employee combine first. So these three observation will be written in output data set. After that all the observation of this data set will return into the employee underscore combined data set. So again three observation same three observation will be written because source data set is same and then all the three observation of this data set. So observations of employee data set would be written three times because we mentioned this data set three times. Let's see the answer. So answer is nine observations and you can see here these three observations of this employee then these three of this and then rest from the third employee data set. I hope this is clear. Let's move on to the next slide. The question number two is how many observations in output data set employee merge. See this time data set is employee merge not employee combined. Source data set is exactly same no change and the code that you need to look and answer is this. So the macro definition is exactly same macro s underscore data source data and then it will return the employee text and percent man definition finishes then data step data I'm creating data set employee underscore merge and here instead of set this time I'm using the statement merge and here I'm creating another macro. So here percent macro add underscore data set then running a loop percent do i equal 1 percent to 4 four times I'm running this loop then calling what I'm calling s underscore data. So this source data macro I'm calling four times and then do loop ends and here percent mend. So macro definition finishes you may be asking like why I didn't mention the macro name add data set with the percent mend statement. This is because it's not required. If you want to give, that would be good. Okay. But if you do not give, says automatically understand this percent mand is for this add underscore data set. Then I'm calling this macro percent add data set. Okay. So a lot of things happening here and it's quite confusing. What is happening? So if you simplify this, what will happen? If you call this macro, 
percent add underscore data set and I already explained in previous question that macro part always runs before data step so data employee underscore merge and the merge statement or run before this this section percent macro add data set percent mand and percent add underscore data set will run first post that data step will run so if you simplify this it will become this employee 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 so it will put this employee data set source data set four times because we are calling here this in a loop do i equal one to four that's why we have four employee source data set here now your knowledge will be tested what will happen if you use merge so first thing is what type of merge this is so this is called positional merge okay so in positional merge what happens for same name variables values from the right side of the data set will overwrite the values of the left side of the data set so here if we just imagine the first observation if we read the first observation from all four data set means 101 101 i'm just only picking the one value but you can imagine all other values also in the same row here you, you can think of like designation associate i just mentioned the a here a a a a and rest of the variable you can think of like salary after that so same name variables values overwritten from the right side of the data set into the left side so here this observation is picked so values of these two will overwrite the values of these two our values are exactly same you can see 101a 101a here 101a 101 this is positional merge so at the end we will have the same value so the same row will go because same data set we are using so merging will become same so what is the concept of merge merge means observations from multiple data sets combine into single observations right it's dif different than the set because in set what we do all the observations from the observation from multiple data sets will return into output data set one by one okay first data sets all observation is written in output data set second data set third and fourth but in case of merge we will read first observations from all the data sets and then combine and then write into the output data set so multiple observations combine into one observation that is called horizontal merging so here since we haven't specify any by variable so it is positional merge so if i use by id what will happen when you use by variable that then your merge change to match merge it will become match because here you specified the matching variable so by and the variable would become match merge okay so here since we have all the values are same so this data sets value observation will overwrite this one and then similar way so ultimately one observation is written from this the one observation of this and this so total number of observation would be same let's see the answer so three observations are total and output data set would have three observations so this is the tricky question i hope i'm able to explain this let's move on to the next slide that's it guys in this session if you like this video please press the like button or subscribe my channel also mention the comment section what you like about this video and on what topic do you want videos to be created and we will meet in the next session till the time bye and take care